<laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. Is that oh, just all my, my lord. That's it. Um, That's it. It's beautiful. Oh, and I just found this mask. <laughs> Did you find oh, it? Oh fuck. So look, I will find it real quick. I will message it to you because this mask is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, I, I'm just oh, gonna no, put I it in found the chat it. room. No, here. no, I found it. There it is. Sorry, yeah, I'm putting it in the chat room so we can play it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, wait. The tag is still on I, it, and I'm noticing wearing the Donkey Kong T-shirt. I'm 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 appreciating that. So, I am I am not going to be able to sleep tonight. There too. That's me and that's me and her dancing with my uh, sexy Frankenberry mask on. Oh, oh no! Look, our Twitch page is insane. All right. <laughs> so where's the Twitch page? Uh, the Twitch page is Hub Challenge. Uh, it's a pinball Twitch streaming live stream show that we do on Twitch uh, Mondays at 6 p.m. and Wednesdays at noon. Uh, we live stream pinball because that's one of my great passions outside of the wrestling ring, and it's 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 insane. We do sad dabs and all that stuff. We have officially brought back the dab. Oh yeah, and it's now the same. And I get videos every maybe two weeks of these people just randomly sending videos of them crying into their arm doing sad dabs. Oh wait, wait, I got it. I got I got the gif on that one too. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> there it is. Wow. I have basically given every person I face in wrestling ring free range to just destroy me anytime they want because there, there's several masks of me just failing. Oh my God, this mask looks even more terrifying like on the Amazon page. Okay, Sorg, I'm yeah. messaging this to you right now. I, okay. I thought I scared people with my Macho Man outfit from Halloween this year. Um, that Paul Bearer mask is... Is more shocking than anything I can think of. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. That much is certain. It is available Thank you for that, Jordan. Still. There you go, Sword. Add that to the show immediately. <laughs> right now, add that to the show. I kind of just want to. I want to take the image of the mask and just like randomly post it on Twitter because he's looking <laughs> down. So it's like whatever tweet is below this shocks Paul Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Just see what random things come up because of it. Oh no, there's more pictures. There's more pictures happening here. I just found mm-hmm. more on your Facebook page. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the thing is, it's just blurred enough. It actually looks like it's Paul Bear. It really does. It's it, it almost, because because the lighting is kind of washed on some of them. Yeah. It yeah. looks like the ghost of Paul Bear. Which it is does. even more terrifying. <laughs> What what I can say, uh, oh, you debuted that mask on the show. Uh, I don't know if we lost viewers or we gained viewers. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I'm I pretty sure. A bunch. You need to find a big concrete block and just put the mask on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> we did that when we were viewing. So uh, on our show, we do uh, what's called hub lights that I edit because I have Emmy. So I got to edit some stuff. And uh, we basically made these short clips of our show uh, that you can see. That was from our uh, Elvira stream that we had the last time. And <laughs> a lot of the hub lights revolve around the goofiness that happens on our show. And when we showed the Paul Bearer mask again, uh, it, the whole thing just blew up. And then we went on to Giphy and we started creating GIFs of it. And I think overnight it got up to about 30,000 views of just the uh, the Paul Bearer mask. And I'm checking now. We did Giphy about, we'll say about a month ago, and we're already over 1.5 million views on Giphy. Jeez. And yeah, just the 2021 GIF of that, it's, it's so much fun. And I'm not going to lie. You're really making me yearn for pinball. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, I, can tell you that, I can tell you that with the pandemic that's going on, the pinball places in Pittsburgh have done an astronomical job of keeping things sanitary, clean, and safe. Uh, places you can go, Kickback, which is in Lawrenceville, where we stream sometimes. Uh, they actually have stations for each pinball machine with sanitizer and hand wipes. That's so you cool. can wipe down the machine whenever you're done. Masks are obviously required. And uh, Helicon Brewing, which is on Oakdale, which is our main streaming place, uh, is as well. They have hand sanitizer and stuff. There's over 40 machines there, and they do have a WrestleMania machine. Ooh. Or pinball that is there that has the old school gray white on it 
and a bunch of other old wrestlers. Luke Harper's I, on it as I, well. I've played that one before. Mm-hmm. That one's a lot of fun. We got to stream it again soon. I yeah, know Beck in the chat. Is a lot of fun. Yeah, Beck's in the chat. She's putting all of her stuff in there. We're going to stream WrestleMania again. Nice. It happen. We actually had uh, our Yeet Squad, which was Brohemoth, me, uh, Tatiana Rose, Zeke Mercer, Ronnie Starks. Uh, we all had a show together. We played pinball on one of our shows, and Zeke was awful. <laughs> oh, he, was he doesn't know what pinball is. I, that's what I said. He was like, what's left and right? And I'm like, just stop. But he finally beat me, and as soon as he was getting ready to enter in his score, the power went out in the station. <gasps> So oh, no. he's still he's still defeated. Zeke's still terrible at pinball. Well, I mean, so, obviously. So Sorg, we would love to have you guys come out on the show as well. Definitely needs to happen. Definitely needs yeah, to happen. Out there. We can see if uh, we can see if Dutters is up for it. I, uh, I want. Oh man, I wonder if the pinball place in New York City is open. Mm, I don't know. know. It might be New York City. It might be. I, I don't even know. But I I don't want a chance going down to the city. That's yeah. the because yeah. I there's a all right. You want to know the sad thing about the pandemic for me right now Mm -hmm. there is an arcade bar that opened up this summer oh i was able to go there once right there in poughkeepsie uh right right in beacon like literally i can walk to it i can walk to it 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 opened up in the summer i got to go the second weekend it opened i had an amazing time i spent like $10 Ten dollars and quarters. I played Avengers Pinball. I played Revolution X. Mm-hmm. I played NBA Jam. I played The Simpsons. I played like it has the best selection of games I could ask for. And then someone complained, and now all the games are off for right now. Oh, that's trash. So, oh, and, and they were being very good too. Like they were, they were also like you couldn't play next to each other. You had to stay one machine apart. They were spraying everything down. Like they were being really good about it. And I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. This this summer may not be so bad after all. And someone bitched. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> uh, and, and and Beck is freaking out Revolution X. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that, we need to play that game too. We can't find yeah, one. Music, we first, so. music is the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm so happy right now. This is it, great. <laughs> any any game where you team up with Steven Tyler and shoot CDs at ruffians, <laughs> sign it. So up. Replay Effects, which unfortunately has closed down yeah. uh, recently, had a revolutionary or a Revolution X, yeah. and we played it. It was the first time I've ever played this game, and I could not believe what was going on. Mm-hmm. It's the random hey baby. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. Like my big arcade thing was, I was in the I was in the smart class, the the I don't know, quote gifted class or whatever, where like you learned how to play chess and shit. And mm-hmm. we would go to Slippery Rock University, and and it was for like equations and ling- linguistics and these like you know these smart people games I sucked at. Uh, but I didn't care how bad I did in those because they had a sweet arcade there in this in the building that the competitions were held. And that's where I played my Mortal Kombat and my Revolution X and Primal Rage and whatever sweet arcade games were happening in the early 90s. So <laughs> we went like three oh. times a year and it was the best time ever. Um, Jordan, <laughs> whenever all this pandemic shit dies down, you guys got to come up to New York City. Oh, we uh, planned on it. Modern Pinball NYC is the jam. Yeah. Modern Pinball NYC is great. They have um, a couple of retro pinball machines, a couple of new ones, um, and they have like they have this arcade machine in the back that has like over a hundred games on it. Nice. And they're all arcade games. They had like every incarnation of WrestleMania. Like they had Tetris. They had some NES games, which I don't even know how that's legal. It was fucking. <laughs> There's a lot of Anything questions out legal there. Legal when you have enough money. Well, yeah. <laughs> go check out the Twitch page. It's Hup Challenge, H U P Challenge, um, over on the Twitch. Oh, and also too, if I can, um, because the award winner does not have enough apparently, uh, our show is actually up for a Twippy, which is uh, this week in pinball uh, yearly award. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've only been streaming for six months. We're already up for the YouTube channel. So, uh, Beck, if you want to put that in the comments, I know she's in there somewhere. There you go. Uh, go ahead and vote for the Hurry Up Challenge in the YouTube. It would really help us, and I would love another award. So There you go. 
the better to brain you with. Uh, in the meantime, hey, want to give a shout out to.